hello students welcome once again now in this section we want to look at um the vector norm sorry the matrix norm here yeah. we're looking at the matrix here yeah. so we have matrix a um, which is a three by three matrix so three by three and this also being three by three so now we have to find the um the matrix norm of um matrix norm of um, infinity and that of one and that of f and infinity um, that of one and yeah so let's quickly look at the first part so we have um the vector a a1 we have to find the infinity of that so for the vector norm is different from the matrix norm right the matrix norm is different from the vector norm because um for the um for the vector norm for the vector norm we are given infinity what we do is that is to find the maximum of each of the values right find the maximum and the absolute then we take the maximum um value over there but in the mat for the for that of the matrix when you are given um infinity what you do is that you take the um the rule you sum all the rule then you take the next one then you sum all the rule you take the next one then sum all the rule then after you sum them you take the maximum of the value so we have the maximum of so we have uh, a1 right over here so this is the rule we have two three and also one so we sum them we have to remember they are absolute so whatever it is negative it becomes positive so plus three plus one then also we take the next uh, the next um rule uh, four plus three plus um zero then we take the next one which is just five plus two then plus four it is negative though but because it's absolute then it becomes positive so the maximum here is just going to be so when we compute this we have um seven here we have um we have six sorry seven and also 11 right so the maximum value here is just 11 that will be for the um, the vector norm now if you look at the second question it said a2 and we are fine to find the uh, one norm right so so for the vector norm in the case of the vector norm we realize that when you are given this what you do is that you sum all of them the absolute take the absolute of each of the value and sum them then all to the power um, one over one but if for the case of the matrix what we do is that we find a maximum of the column so this time we are taking the column remember it is um, um, 2 a2 so we take the column of a2 right we take the column of a2 that will be 0 1 and 2 so we sum them 0 plus 1 plus 2 and the next one is 1 0 and 3 so 1 plus 0 plus 3 and the next one is 2 is negative but it will be positive because of the absolute value so it becomes 2 here plus 1 then plus 2 and over here we are just going to get um 3 here then we have 4 here then we have 5 here so the maximum here is just 5 right okay so that will be it for that now let's look at c now c here we are giving um matrix a a1 right being important we have to find um the f right so for f what we are going to do is that we are going to um, um take the a values or the a values this time we are not going to take either the column or the um the um the column or the row but we take all the values then we square them and also put them in a square root so we square put them in a square root we take a1 values so we realize that we have two squared then the next one we have three squared then we can have one squared we can have four squared then three squared zero squared five squared two squared and also four squared right so now we are going to have um four plus nine plus one then 16 plus nine zero here 25 plus 4 then uh, plus 16 right so you know summing them all we are just going to get 84 then 84 is just 2 root 21 and that will be 
it for the uh, for the matrix of f now let's look at d which is uh, a so in this case we are giving um a1 we are giving a1 then we are giving it in a matrix uh, infinity then we have um a2 here then also down one to infinity right now we've already calculated for a1 when it is infinity and we add the values to be 11 so we are just going to put it there then for the a2 we just have to calculate that so find a maximum of um so we are going to take the um the the row values right so we take the row values which are um so we take for that of two so for that for that of two we have zero squared so we have zero sorry we have we are taking a2 here so we have um a2 so we are taking the row right we are taking the row so we have zero then one plus two and the next one will be one plus one right then this one be one plus zero plus one and we have two plus three then plus two sorry yeah then we have eleven so then a maximum here we have three here we have two here and we have um seven right so over here we are just going to get eleven what is the maximum of this so the maximum of this is just seven right and seven and eleven should give us eighteen so that will be it for the um the mattress no the mattress no so thank you very much for joining me in this section i hope this session was helpful i'll see you in another section